Let's get right into it. Number one concrete, the Roman recipe that refuses to die. You know that stuff holding up your parking garage, your apartment building, and probably the sidewalk you tripped over last week. Yeah, concrete. The Romans were slapping this stuff together over 2,000 years ago, and not the weak crumble if you look at it wrong kind we sometimes get today, their version has been outliving empires. Picture ancient Roman engineers mixing volcanic ash lime and seawater while wearing those dramatic togas. The result concrete so durable that some Roman harbours are still holding strong despite being battered by waves for centuries. Meanwhile, modern concrete sometimes cracks faster than a bad relationship. Scientists have found that Roman concrete actually heals itself when it gets small cracks. Yeah, self-repairing, like your phone screen could only dream of doing. The secret. Those volcanic minerals react with water over time sealing the gaps. It's basically the sourdough starter of building materials, keep it alive and it keeps giving back. So next time you walk past a crumbling building, maybe whisper to the architect, Psst, have you tried going full Roman? Number 2. Aqueducts. Ancient plumbing that puts some modern cities to shame. Imagine having no running water. Now imagine you're in ancient Rome and suddenly there's this giant graceful stone bridge just pouring fresh water into your city. No pumps, no electricity, just gravity baby. Aqueducts were the uber eats of water delivery. They carried it from miles away over hills across valleys straight into fountains, public baths and private homes. Some of these things stretched for over 50 miles and kept water flowing 24-7. Here's the wild part. Some aqueduct systems are still in use today. Cities like Segovia in Spain basically looked at their 2,000-year-old water bridge and went, yeah, still works, don't touch it. Modern engineers still borrow the basic principle, elevate water at one end, tilt it just enough and let gravity do its slow, magical thing. It's like the lazy river at a water park, except instead of drunk tourists in floaties, it's carrying life-sustaining water to thousands of people. Number three, the Antikythera mechanism, the OG smartwatch. Imagine finding an ancient Greek gadget in a shipwreck that looks like it could sink to your iPhone. That's basically the Antikythera mechanism. Built around 100 BCE, it's a complex system of bronze gears used to track the positions of the sun, moon, and planets and predict eclipses. It's not just, oh, the moon will be up there somewhere level of prediction. No, this thing had pinpoint accuracy made without modern tools, computers, or even duct tape. It's like someone in ancient Greece saw the night sky and thought, I'm going to build a pocket-sized NASA. The mechanism was probably used by sailor scholars and possibly smug ancient know-it-alls who wanted to impress their friends. In a way, it's the ancestor of your smartwatch, except instead of telling you how many steps you've taken, it told you when the gods might get mad and turn the sky black, and honestly, slightly more useful. Number 4. Roads. When straight lines change the world. You've probably driven on a road so riddled with potholes it felt like off-roading through a war zone. Now imagine being in 300 BCE and traveling on a road so well built that parts of it still exist today. The Romans didn't just build roads, they engineered them, layers of rock, gravel and sand topped with perfectly fitted stones, and they built them straight. None of this winding nonsense, they'd literally cut through hills to keep a direct line. Their motto could have been, shortest distance between two points is a Roman road. And they worked troops, merchants and gossip traveled at record speed for the time. Without them, the Roman Empire might have collapsed faster than a bad Jenga tower. Modern road building still borrows their layering techniques, so every time you're stuck in traffic, you can thank the Romans for inventing the system, and also curse them because, yeah, they started this whole roads everywhere thing. Number 5. Glass. The ancient Instagram filter for life. You ever look out of a window and think, wow, what a simple, obvious invention. Yeah, ancient people thought the same thing, except, you know, they had to invent it first. Glass making goes back at least 3,500 years with the ancient Egyptians and Mesopotamians cooking up the first wobbly, slightly cloudy glass pieces. By Roman times, they'd perfected it enough for windows bottles and drinking cups. Imagine being a Roman sipping wine out of a glass goblet, judging the plebs with their clay mugs. That's not just hydration, that's status. The process hasn't changed much heat up, silica sand, add some magic minerals, shape it before it cools. Sure, now we can make ultra-clear, shatter-resistant, tinted, bulletproof glass, but the core idea, still the same. Without ancient glass making, there'd be no sunglasses, no skyscraper windows, no fish tanks. Basically, we'd all be squinting a lot more and aquariums would just be wet floors with confused fish. Number 6. 
paper making. Because stone tablets were a pain in the chisel, before paper, people wrote on clay stone wood or animal skins. And while stone tablet influencer sounds cool, it's not exactly portable. Enter ancient China around 100 BCE, when Kai Lun and his crew decided to mash up mulberry bark hemp and old fishing nets into a pulp press, it flat dry it, and boom paper was born. Paper changed everything. Suddenly, you could write novels grocery lists and passive-aggressive roommate notes without needing a team of stonecutters. The technology spread along the Silk Road and eventually the whole world went, oh yeah, this is way better than carving into a goat skin. Today, your printer paper notebooks and even that napkin you just doodled on trace their DNA back to ancient paper making. It's the original content platform, the TikTok of the Han Dynasty, minus the dancing teens. Number 7. The Arch, Architecture's Ultimate Cheat Code if you've ever walked under a brick arch and thought, wow, that's pretty congratulations, you've just experienced one of the oldest structural life hacks. The arch was used by the ancient Babylonians and perfected by the Romans, and it's basically the reason bridges, aqueducts, and cathedrals don't just fall over. The genius is in how the arch distributes weight. Instead of a beam trying not to snap in the middle, each stone pushes against the next, transferring the load outward and down. It's like a group project where everyone actually does their share. We still use arches everywhere in bridges, doorways, train stations, even pizza ovens. Without them, the world would have a lot more collapsed buildings and far fewer Instagram-worthy cathedrals. So next time you walk through an arch, just know you're stepping through an engineering trick that's been flexing for over 4,000 years. Number 8. Plumbing. Because buckets were getting old. Picture this, it's ancient Rome and you're living your best toga life. Instead of schlepping water from a well, you've got fresh water piped straight into your home. And when nature calls, you don't have to dig a hole. You've got a sewer system whisking it all away like some magical disappearing act. Plumbing isn't just about convenience, it's about survival. The Romans built complex systems of lead pipes, aqueduct-fed fountains, and giant sewer tunnels like the Cloaca Maxima. Yes, the great sewer, and no, they didn't hire a marketing team. This infrastructure kept cities cleaner and disease rates lower, at least until they realized maybe lead pipes weren't the healthiest choice. Modern plumbing still works on the same principles, pressurized water delivery drainage systems, and the miracle of not having to carry a sloshing bucket back from a river. Without ancient plumbing, your morning shower would be a much colder, muddier affair, and honestly, you'd smell way worse. Number 9. Windmills, the original green energy. Long before solar panels and wind farms dotted the horizon, ancient Persians around 500 and 900 CE figured out how to harness wind power. Their windmills were vertical axis designs looking like giant rotating doors, grinding grain and pumping water without a single drop of gasoline. It's hard to overstate how revolutionary this was literally turning invisible air currents into mechanical muscle. Farmers could produce more food mill grain faster and avoid spending hours cranking heavy grinding stones by hand, which meant more time for, I don't know, ancient Netflix. Today's sleek wind turbines may look like sci-fi props, but the concept is still the same. Capture moving air, turn it into motion turn, that motion into something useful. Ancient windmills were basically the Prius of their time, efficient, eco-friendly, and a little bit smug about it. Number 10. Calendars. The ancient spreadsheet for time. Before calendars, humans just kind of guessed what day it was. Is it planting season? I don't know, ask the sun. Ancient Egyptians, Mayans, Babylonians, and pretty much every civilization worth their salt figured out systems to track time seasons and big events. The Egyptians used a 365-day solar calendar. The Mayans had an insanely precise system combining solar and ritual cycles, and the Romans gave us the Julian calendar, which eventually evolved into the Gregorian one we use now. These weren't just for marking birthdays, they kept agriculture festivals and tax collection running smoothly. Without ancient calendars, you wouldn't know when to pay rent when your favorite holiday is or when your dentist appointment is coming up, which honestly might be a perk. They were humanity's first shared to-do list and we're still living by their structure today. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.